The 14th annual New Zealand Fashion Week kicked off on Monday at the Auckland Viaduct Event Centre with many of the industry's biggest players, Kate Sylvester, Nom D and Juliet Hogan, returning this year. Many of the well-known brands are also celebrating their milestones this year with Kate Sylvester's brand turning 21. Zambezi 35, Taylor Boutique 15, Juliet Hogan 10 and Auckland based label Celine Rita 5. Each of the designers are also cutting their birthday cake at the opening ceremony. The highlight so far has actually been a newcomer Trish Ping who has just launched her ready to wear line and couture dresses. Well I'm a buyer and I'm thinking about stocking Trish Ping's collection, I absolutely love it. I will be buying about 95% of the collection for my store. What did you think of her collection? I thought it was really amazing. Yeah. I think Trish has come a long way. The, the collection is strong. She's showing growth in, in her design sensibility. Really, really thrilled to see that. Who's the store that you're so buying for? I own, I own Lana Boutique and I, my name's Lana. I'm here with um, designer Trish Ping. How did you think <laughs> your show went? Oh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, I had such a great team, it just all went to plan, which is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping nothing would happen and it didn't, which is good. What was your influence behind your ready-to-wear line? Um, it was geometry and colours and shapes and because it's a spring-summer 2015 collection, so mm -hmm. it's all about colour and embracing that and all these linear lines and shapes, yeah. yeah. And what does um, New Zealand Fashion Week mean to you? Um, well, it's always been a childhood dream, and so to really have that solo show is just, it means the world, yeah. was outside interviewing some of your buyers, and Lana said she would actually stock 95% of your collection. That is a huge ratio. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, she came up to me running after, um, after the show and said that, so very happy with that. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> the organisers moved this year's event forward by a week to avoid any clashes with New York Fashion Week, but the format that stays the same so some of our best homegrown designers can showcase their 2015 autumn and winter collection to the public. Five more shows are scheduled for today and the pace will keep up right throughout this week. With over 70 labels participating, event organisers say this will be the best yet. Laura Zhang reporting.